Well, it really started as a, as a strict action film. Really, I mean, uh, let me say this. I mean, the metaphors were always there. The outline was always there. But um, it was really, it really depended on, on who was telling the story. And fortunately, we got Doug Lyman. Um, in, any, in someone else's hands, you know, it could have very easily been a, just, just an action film, a straightforward action film. But what you see in this one is that the action is always secondary. It's always behind. It's the backdrop for whatever's going on in the relationship, which is usually some kind of bickering or fighting. And, and it's really well done that way. I think what happened, strangely enough, is that we read the script and had some action in it, and really it was a relationship comedy. And then I think Brad and I, being two people that love action, and the stunt coordinator knowing him from Troy and me from Tomb Raider, um, the action scene suddenly went from three days to three weeks, and everything got more competitive and bigger and bigger and bigger, so it turned more into an action movie. Um, I, I am quite proficient with a weapon, and uh, so is she, frighteningly so. It's a really good shot, she is. Um, there was a few days rehearsal, and it was just funny because we, you know, we can do stunt practice or gun training for days, but brought a, you know, dance class was kind of like, oh god, it's that day, it's dance class. But it ended up being very fun, and and, um, and especially because of all the the weapons and the story in between it. And, but yeah, it was it was funny. You know, I mean, there's it's hard enough to do a scene like that, but uh, harder in your underwear. But actually, freer in your underwear, less constricting, um, greater range of movement. Um, I, I think we had an advantage. I mean, I, th I think it's why you see the great rest, you know, fighters like sumo wrestlers and really need to strip down for agility. Do you consider doing a Mr. Mrs. Smith series? Oh, God, I don't know. I mean, I, I have no idea. I have no idea at this point. Um, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think, no. I don't know. And during the film, there was always the joke about the sequel, and it was always like a bet, you know, we'll be back for the sequel, but I can't imagine.